Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this matchup between the San Diego Chargers and the San Francisco 49ers. We got a crossover conference game about to kick off here. Any thoughts before kickoff, Phil? Well, these two teams don't know each other very well. So when you don't know the other team real well, you know what happens? You get surprised. A lot of big plays. This will be fun to watch. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. And James is handed the football. That'll be another new set of downs after that pickup for a first. Running backs who can pick up extra yards, they are so valuable. You can't always block everybody to the ground. The running back's got to do it himself sometimes. Nice job there by the running back. They're running the option. Here's the pitch. Well, this is good confidence for the offense, isn't it? To move down the field early in the game and get inside the 20. Let's see if they have a play up their sleeve that can get them in the end zone. Nickel formation here for the defense. He'll fire it out to the left. Caught. Well, the way the rules are in the NFL now, you can't hit the receivers, you can't hit the quarterback. And if you give the quarterback this kind of time, he is always going to find an open receiver. This is third down. James taking the handoff. Searching for space to the right. That's a gain of six. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage. Look out. They'll throw it over the top. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Complete. Touchdown, San Francisco. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. The 49ers lined up now for the point after. Count it. The Chargers ready to return the kick. It looks like the onside kick's going to pay off here. Kicking team appears to have the ball. Michael James is in the backfield. To the ground here. To the right. He's got some daylight. Going to take it the distance. The 20, the 10. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. There is nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done and this team definitely has one ball is caught got the touchdown got the two-point conversion people love to go for two in this game don't they well they do and you know what now i guess you and i just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision when you pick up the two points you can't complain about what they're trying to do that kick came right at him and it looks like the receiving team has recovered Matthews lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Running back gets it on the handoff. That was a nice run that time by the offense, picking up those yards. And any time you gain more than three yards on a running play in the National Football League, it is deemed successful. And Gates is a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Second and four. The throw to the left. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Third down here. 
offense trying to pick up the first four yards what a good job by the defensive player there just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground Phillip Rivers has it under center. And the carry to Ryan Matthews. Going to lose yards here. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs, it's four down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. First and ten. Michael James gets the carry. And it's Eric Weddle who makes the tackle. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap. And they hold that run to a short game. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. They'll stay on the ground on first down. They go to the right side. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When you have a defense as fast as this one, they over-pursue. So that's why you want to run a counter run. Take advantage of the fact that they are just charging too fast, too hard, and not thinking on the defensive side. Well, when you're on the defensive side, if you read the offensive formation, where do they have the most numbers at? And that's usually where they're going to run the football. That time the offense goes to the strong side, gets outside, you should have an extra defender there waiting for him. Terrible job by the defense. He's brought to a halt. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Back to the running back. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Back to the ground. And they're going to run it right. And in for the touchdown. When you got a lead, you march down the field, and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient, or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. They're lining up here for the onside kick. The receiving team has the recovery. And Matthews is lined up as the single back. First down and 10. Ryan Matthews takes the handoff. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. The Chargers come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Second and 13. Rivers looking long. That ball is picked off. What a terrible job by the Chargers. Nobody's open. Tries to force the pass, and look. What's it turn into? An interception. Gores shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Now first and 10. And he's going to pitch it here. And here we have second down. Gore. He's headed right. Got a big lane. The tackle is going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run. And the defense being too aggressive, they're over pursuing. So you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. Kaepernick from the gun, looking for an open receiver on the right. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Well, they complete the pass, Tim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. 
After the catch, it's now second down and one. He's going to the left, and they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. Nice run that time by the running back, and if they keep running the football like this, it's just a matter of time before they fake it and throw that football over the top of the defense. They are being physical, the running back doing a good job, and they are making it happen in the running game today. Looking to go deep. Makes the catch deep down the middle of the field. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. First down, following the long play. They run the counter play. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Right where it had to be. The margin is increased with another touchdown. It's like money. How much do you need? The answer's more. And that's what you do when you're trying to get points in the NFL. Just get more. Good job by the offense. They pad their lead with that touchdown. Driving extra point is good. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. Phillip Rivers has it under center. First and 10. We'll run it. Here's the handoff. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Second and seven. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to push it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. First and ten. Strong eye handoff here. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. And Matthews is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20 yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. All the way, third down. Throws to the right. Intercepted. And on the stop. This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense, and finally, he gets the interception inside. Uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. First and 10. Kaepernick gets it to Vernon Davis. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Takes the knee. Trying to beat the play clock. Second down now. Takes the knee. Press, 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 press. 
Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I just spoke with a Chargers official. Eric Weddle's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. The Chargers will come out in the dime. It's a spike. No, it's a fake. No stopping him now. That's a touchdown. Anytime, Jim, it's third and goal, you've got to decide, what are we going to do? Well, this time, the offense, nice design. They throw the football, and the quarterback puts it right on the money for the touchdown pass. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. First down, offense readying for the snap. It's Rivers down the field, almost intercepted. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Second down here. Rivers is back in shotgun formation. Looking to the right side and throwing. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. Offense lines up here. Phillip Rivers unloading the long pass. Outstanding coverage on the deep throw, forcing the incompletion. That's why he's one of the best in the league. He's aggressive. He can take away short passes, but also has the speed and the ability to get back here and knock down those deep ones, too. Oh, it's a fake. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Caught it, but he's out of bounds. That's not good timing between the receiver and the quarterback. The quarterback that time throws it too quick and too far in front. 